Hey, what's up, my crimes and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. Disclaimer I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. These are my opinions and just that. Today, we are going to be talking about Yasmin, okay, her baby daddy, the custody, everything else that's going on over there. We're also going to give some updates with Megan, um, the Hot 100 Billboard predictions. We got um, some Nikki, Cardi, Ice Spice, a little bit of the Billboard um, concern that I got. Um, and then we're going to be talking about Sweetie's new song, Nani. Okay, Nani, Nani, Nani. Okay, <laughs> now Yasmin and her baby daddy, Christian, okay, allegedly he, you know, put in some papers to get custody or he got custody or whatever. There's a lot of sources that we're going to get into that are basically saying that he got custody of their 10-month-old baby right so y'all know yasmin the video was surfacing with her jumping over the thing damaging his things she got arrested etc etc so according to the baby daddy she's unfit okay according to him in the sources but she says otherwise okay sources are saying laker player christian wood was granted full custody of his 10 month old son and three-year restraining order against his ex yasmin lopez okay after she missed her court date now according to the court records um that radaronline.com was able to get lopez will have a professional supervisor monitor present when she visits her son kobe at woods beverly hills residence for the duration of the three-year restraining order that the court granted Wood against his ex. Three one-hour visits each week are permitted for her, the order stated. Okay, so these are basically, they saying they already have the court documents and orders and everything else. So this is what sources are saying. They're also saying, at a recent court, Wood was granted exclusive legal and physical custody of his son, as was previously reported. Despite receiving the documentation, Lopez did not show up for the hearing, okay? Wood begged for the permanent restraining order against Lopez, which he had been granted in March throughout the hearing. In this testimony, he claimed that on February 23rd, 2024, Lopez and many of her girlfriends purposely showed up at his house, Okay? Wood said that his ex-partner had destroyed his Mercedes-Benz by leaving severe scratches on the whole vehicle. He claimed that after spotting Lopez around his property, his neighbor phoned the police, okay? And that is what we saw in the video, okay? Yasmin doesn't seem to be upset that she won't um, be seeing her kid too often because she posted after the ruling that she is thankful to have a hot girl summer since Wood will be doing all the parenting, okay? So this is what she posted up, somebody jumping off the yacht, I don't know who it is, and then she says all summer. So that is how her summer is going to look, okay? Now she says, he's saying I don't like what people are saying, yeah, because I was never served any court papers saying I had to be in court. I've debated on not even saying anything, but never would I not show up for my kids nor post something seeming as if I'm celebrating losing him was never the case. Meanwhile, he's sitting up in my home acting like he doesn't know what's going on. People can say whatever they want about me, but do not ever come for me as a mom. Okay. She also says, I never had no type of visitation only with my son. Both of my sons are fully in my care and always have been. I love both my babies to death. There's two sides to every story and the truth will come out soon enough. So she's saying she got her babies, she had full custody, and she don't know what is going on, okay? Now look at this little video clip that she also posted right next to him. I don't like what people are saying. Like, this is bad, bro. Okay, okay, okay. 
Now, she was also, all right, Yasmin Lopez ain't never showed her kids this much. I hate to say it, it's given performative. So, people are seeing that she keep posting her kids on her stories. Um, Yasmin Lopez is sad as F. How you get your 10 month old taken? You know how much of an unfit mother you gotta be. So, these are the people comments after seeing what sources are saying. Wow, Jasmine Lopez posting but couldn't show up for court to get custody of her kid. Nah, girl, gotta unfollow you, laugh out loud. These IG girlies falling off bad. Yasmin Lopez is crazy. How you not show up to court for custody of your kid? Now, mind you, this is just because of what sources are saying. Um, wow, Yasmin Lopez beat a clown. Try to publicly embarrass her and put her through the worst for what? Just for her to have receipts? These guys are the worst. I'm telling you okay now yasmin definitely showed y'all may 3rd okay it's the day after allegedly the courts and stuff you put the court papers in and everything else and this is sometimes what guys do they really would call uh, uh, police on you they would do whatever to try to get you in trouble or try to make you seem like you're unfit or whatever and then still be laid up next to you still be in your business still be in your face and it just be like what are you what are we what are we doing you understand? So let's get into what she said underneath the comments of, um, like under the blogs. Okay, she's under the blog saying, This man does not have full custody of our son. Our child remains in my care 24-7, period. And I believe her, okay? I believe her. So I don't know where the sources are coming. I was trying to look for the documentation with the, with the, with the order and everything else, but I couldn't find it. If you could find it, please send it to me on my Instagram because I cannot find it for the dear life of me, okay? And none of these sources that are saying these things are actually putting out the court documents of this, like, of the proof. So at this point, I believe her because men really do that. They will call this person on you, try to take you to court just to be petty, you want to say just to be petty because y'all not y'all 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 not on good terms or they're jealous or whatever the case may be. Some guys are bitter like that too, so don't always think that it's the female. Males be out here bitter as fuck too, okay? And we're gonna get into that, okay? But let me know how y'all feel about that. Me personally, I believe her. I believe her kids are with her. Maybe he did take the court um, papers to the court and stuff like that, and maybe it's gonna be a process, but. I believe what she's saying, okay, because there are better guys out here, and it is what it is, but until I see that documentation stating otherwise, then it is what it is, I'm gonna believe whatever I want to believe, and let me know how y'all feel. Some good news with Megan Thee Stallion, okay, she is coming out with uh, her own tequila brand yeah she is going into the liquor business and y'all know a lot of the people that be in the industry and stuff rappers rb whatever they always have some type of liquor right so megan the stallion announces she will be releasing her own brand of tequila soon there was a video she was walking with it looking really cute now predictions of hot bill 100 Number two, Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar. Kudos to him. I like that song. Number 38, new Billboard entry is Boa, Megan Thee Stallion. And then we got number 46 with Glorilla and Megan, Wanna Be. Okay? Now, right here, y'all can pause to read everything else. But let me tell you something. Why isn't Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and Ice Spice in the in the top 50 they not even in the top 50 okay i think cardi b is like 80 or something with enough and that's it i don't see a Nicki minaj i don't see a ice spice like predictions is like billboard charting i don't know what's going on Nicki minaj is doing her thing with her tour megan the stallion just started her tour with glorilla um cardi b um she said she's something next week is going to happen because she said there's a lot of people gonna feel stupid so maybe she's gonna release a date or maybe the album is gonna drop next week i don't know but we are going to see no i think it's this week actually because she said that last week i believe hmm yeah because we just started this week so we shall see what news she gonna come out with okay um but let me know how y'all feel about all of that okay um me personally i just feel like everybody be talking about the charts and if they not in the top 20 they like this song is trash and stuff like this but at the end of the day it's either you can go up in the chart or go down in the chart and it's a lot of people that have really good music that's better than people that's on the charts so at this point it is what it is but a lot of people go by the charts and then you know the whatever they, they got going on
Now, Sweetie, with her 9090 song, okay? Me, personally, I think it's trash. I'm not really a Sweetie fan, and y'all already know that. I don't really like her music like that. It's given very much boring. It doesn't make me want to play it over and over and over. It has to have no replay value in my eyes. The only thing I like about the Nani song is when she say, Nani, Nani, Nani. That's it, okay? Um, her song at the time for two days in only made 913k. That is really bad. She didn't even make a million in two days. Really bad. And that's just me in my opinion. Okay, if you are a Sweetie fan, that's y'all. And y'all gotta stop with the, you a hater, you a hater, you a hater, just because somebody don't like somebody's music. That's not my cup of tea, okay? Now, if she come out with a song that's something that I like, that will make me want to rap it or sing it or dance to it, then I will let y'all know, okay? I will keep y'all updated. But until then, nani 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 is a no 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 for me. And that's just how it is. Um, At the end of the day, let's get into some of this quick recap. Yasmin, <clears throat> the BD situation, cussing and everything else. For the dear life of me, I don't understand why people come out on the internet putting their business out there and stuff like that. But it is what it is. I only... I'm okay with the parts where you have to come out and defend yourself publicly when something publicly is said about you or exposed about you. That I am all for, but I'm not all for the trying to expose people when doing all the extra stuff. I'm not doing that. But this is my content. You put it out there on the internet. We are going to talk about it. It is what it is. Okay, but let me know how you feel about everything in this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share. Make sure to send me something if y'all want me to talk about something on my Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube name, okay? So make sure y'all check me out and follow me over there because a lot of the stuff that I talk about here, I already posted some of the receipts and stuff on Instagram. So if you see me posting on Instagram, most likely I'm going to talk about it in my video and y'all going to hear what I got to say about it. Until then, I love y'all. Toodaloos. Bye-bye. Shorty, you tried it. Boys getting filled with entire